I go back to what I talked about in the beginning, which is we've just thrown the barn door open and let the horse bolt out into our schools, into our businesses, into our homes. And before we even asked, is it a gift or is it a Trojan horse that's going to steal from us? We've embraced convenience before understanding consequence. And we've done it before with video games and cell phones and social media and marijuana and alcohol and opiates and high fructose corn syrup and aspartame. And we have to be smarter. We have to tame this horse. It's gone with wisdom or it's going to trample our children. And so I think we have to be very thoughtful. And it all comes back down to, is this good for my brain or bad for it? Is it good for our collective brains? Or is it potentially bad for it? And just answer that question with information and love of yourself, of your family, of your country, community. Yeah, I'm more anxious than when I came in. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I'm just, it's so front of mind for me at the moment because I have the hindsight, the wisdom of hindsight of all those things you mentioned, like exercise and processed foods and social media and all these things that we tried. And they all seem to follow a similar arc. Some kind of new product or discovery is made. The early phase, in the early phase, people who have an incentive for that thing to be successful will somewhat like gaslight you into thinking that it's fine. And then we get into the second phase where we start to see sort of con some consequences. Then we study what's actually happened. We figure out that there's there was always a trade-off and that nobody really understood the trade-off. 